for Atlantis, the truth behind UFOs, and very topical this yeah. week, the mysteries of extreme weather. I mean, what are you looking to unravel in this series? Well, there you have a limited number of shows, and uh, and some of them are like deep and ooga booga, and some are like, wow, <laughs> well, how did they build that underground city, and how did they lift those huge uh, uh, pieces of uh, rock that we can't even do now, and 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 then there's the Egyptian mummies, and and the discovery of how they did that, and and passing air through the larynx of a monk who's been dead 3,000 years, and, and it makes a sound, so the mummy is coming back from 3,000. I mean, the unexplained, we're surrounded by questions. Some of these questions we ask, and as you pointed out, it's inexplicable. There's no explanation <clears throat> except the grandeur of the mystery. <clears throat> so, so, Bill, you know, you've looked at so many different stuff. What's the favourite, then, story that you've looked at and uncovered the mystery? Well, there's so many of them, and some of them, uh, uh, England won't see them for a while. But, you, you, you know, it's truly a mystery. <clears throat> there are these large blocks... <clears throat> forgive me. There's these large blocks of rock quarried somewhere else brought to a location, erected, and precision measurements, and nobody knows quite how they did it. One explanation is vibration, that magical people tapping the rock, setting it up, it vibrates and lifts. I mean, there's all kinds of mysterious explanations for some of these things that have no real uh, valid explanation to those of us today. but. They're mysterious and wondrous and you makes you think about how many mysteries are left in the world that we have no idea about. Um, yeah. but can I just quickly ask, where are these rocks? Yeah, where are they, Bill? What? Where, where are, are the, the rocks? rocks? Very good. <laughs> where are the rocks? They're everywhere. <clears throat> they're in Egypt, they're in Peru, oh. they're in the in the uh, South America, uh, Middle America, uh, they are in Greece, they are there's London. Do you know how mysterious Stonehenge really is? Oh, I mean, I can literally see. Oh, uh, well, you see, Stonehenge is right there with the rocks. But there's whole layers underneath Stonehenge that had a prior history. We don't know how it got there. We don't know anything. We know Stonehenge a little bit. But the true mystery of Stonehenge has not been explained yet. And we deal with that. Bill, we'll go for dinner and we, talk yeah, more we, about that yeah, one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But, look, Bill, there is something I know I want to talk to you about, uh, Alex wants to talk to you about, and our guest, your trip to space. I mean, can I just congratulate you? Because at the age of 90, you became the oldest man to it travel was, to space. It was, mon it, it was monumental. And I ended up... Uh, I wrote a, with two friends, I wrote an album uh, called Bill, which did really well. We had some songs uh, left over, and I was asked to... Uh, entertain at the Kennedy Center, and we used those songs about space, about Earth, about uh, love, uh, and it was a very uh, successful mm. concert, uh, which uh, the 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 album and the television show of which will be along soon. Uh, this book I have coming out it deals with the the fact that there, to me there doesn't seem to be anything called coincidence. It's all part of the mystery of life. There's no coincidence. We're in vibration with the universe, and I tell you stories about how I think there's a vibration. Listen, the Webb telescope is one of the great, in, is the greatest invention by humankind. And we're peering into the unknown, the skies that we've looked at, and we've never seen beyond the Webb telescope is going to show us more and more mysteries and explain some of the mysteries. I, I, I invented a watch called the Webb watch using the Webb telescope and the earth and the sun. Go to uh, passages uh, dot uh, dot uh, <laughs> passages <laughs> do, dot com.
Hey? Bless you. And, Bless and, you. And, You're the first and, person, uh, Bill, and, Bill, Bill. You're the first person I've ever heard. I just asked you a question about have you been to space and you didn't want to answer. You, you wanted to talk about your book. <laughs> so, but, but don't you understand? This is all about Connected. space. Connected. Yes, yes, yes. It's all course. part of the same thing. Bill, we need to get you back on so we can talk about what it was like, etc. <laughs> William Shatner, your own new guru. I think we you love have you. To. Oh. You're I think you have to have back on to talk about the various wondrous things, all of which are very mysterious, uh, and, and go along with uh, the unexplained. Amazing. Oh, yes. I love it. Thank you, Bill. Thank you so it's been much, a real Bill. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And well. you can watch The Unexplained every Tuesday on Sky History at 10 pm. You can literally listen to him all day. Well, that's all we've got to. William Shatner, The Unexplained. A television series on history that claims to explore subjects that have mystified mankind for centuries. The show is hosted and executively produced by William Shatner. It's premiered on July the 19th, 2019 and has aired for four seasons on the History Network. The show has not yet been renewed for a fifth season. On March 27th, 2019, History Greenlit the unexplained host that executively produced William Shatner and ordered an initial six episodes. The show is produced by Prometheus Entertainment, Ken Burns and Susan Leventhal. Also executively produced in the first season. History later increased the episode order to an eight episode first season. It premiered on July 19, 2019.